Hello hobby friends, I'm Jason and this is Level Up Hobbies. Now in today's video, I will be finally showing you how I paint up the Dark Angels Grandmaster of the Deathwing, Belial. This is my Primaris conversion, not the modern uh, Terminator Belial. Uh, so I actually made this model you know, a while ago. I'm just finally getting around to painting it because I've just been too lazy. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead, let's start painting this guy. Uh, you'll see a lot of familiar aspects to the paint scheme uh, with my other Deathwing, which you should. Um, I did make some alterations though. Um, whether or not I like them better or not, that's still to be determined. But uh, anyways, let's jump in, let's start painting. I'll see you at the end. Later. Okay, let's get started painting this guy. He has been a... Uh a process to say the least. I actually converted him uh, roughly uh, close to a year ago. Uh, probably about I don't know, 10, 10 months ago maybe. Uh, and I just never got around to painting him. But um, uh, here we go. Um, the basics of the paint job are going to be the same as the other Deathwing uh, units that I have posted. Uh, so the uh, the kit bashed uh, Deathwing Lieutenant, and then also the uh, the kit bashed Lions Guard that I created. Um, it's going to have all the same base color, uh, yeah, the same base color scheme for the armor. Um, I did make a few alterations to the final color scheme, and I will show you that. Uh, but overall, like the colors are uh, are pretty much the exact same. Uh, so I won't go into too much detail on most of that. Uh, I'll just really cover the differences that I made between the armor. And when I was converting this guy, uh, well, whenever I was putting them together, I made sure I left the cloak uh, detached so it's not glued on yet. I can pull that off, and I will pull it off to to get in there and get the uh, painting like behind and the inside of the cloak and everything. So, all right, let's go ahead and jump in and start painting my... Uh, Primaris Belial Conversion. All right, so like I said in the intro, uh, the overall base model uh, armor color is the same as my uh, other Deathwing models. So I'm not going to cover these in super detail. I will cover them really quickly, though. Um, I start off by priming the model in uh, black. I use my... Uh, uh, Monument Hobbies, just uh, black primer. Uh, what is this? It is just Pro Acryl black uh, surface primer. And then I go over it with a uh, Monument Pro Acryl warm gray. Uh, and I just give this an overall uh, almost base coat. Uh, uh, I, I do leave the black in the shadows just to leave that darker areas uh, untouched. And then I work my colors up from this. All right, next on the list is some ivory, also from Pro Acryl. Uh, I do the same thing with the gray. I just build up this ivory foundation over that warm gray and... Um, it gives me kind of that warm uh, white color that is very familiar with the Deathwing. It's not as prominently brown as you see on a lot of the Deathwing, but I think it gives you enough warm tones to, uh, to sell the, the same effect. And then last for this... Uh, foundation color i use pro acryl bright ivory and this i try to keep more up on the uh the upper you know third of the the model just to really brighten up that uh that base color that i'm working with here now here's where i stray from my previous deathwing color scheme and i actually go in on top of that that ivory and I just paint the entire thing with a burnt umber uh, oil wash. 
And um, I'm doing this just to really bring out more of those warm tones, or actually I'm gonna be like adding these warm tones to this armor. Uh, so I just, I make a thin wash, I paint it on, let it sit for a few minutes. And then I go through and just start um, gently wiping it away and leaving color in the, the recesses. It really gives a nice effect for your shadows and everything where they're gonna fall. And I will mention that before I applied this uh, oil wash, I did spray the model with a, uh, a gloss varnish uh, because I didn't want this oil wash to stain the um, the overall the base coat of uh, the armor uh, I didn't want to stain it really dark so if you give it a gloss coat that color will kind of drift down into the crevices and when you wipe it away you'll wipe away more of that surface uh, color and now we start wiping it away um, right here, I just use a uh, makeup applicator. Um, I bought a ton of these on like Amazon or something. I'm not really sure, but I just got a, I got a huge box of them. And they work really well to remove all the, the excess wash here. Um, I've also used just regular, well, I guess regular. But I've also used uh, just the very soft makeup sponges. I have noticed sometimes that... Um, I've rubbed off the uh, the base color using those, and it's I don't understand what it is because they're not rough at all. But for some reason, it takes down like that base color. So I don't know um, something I'll like test and look into. But yeah, so I just use these little makeup applicators to gently rub off that excess color. And after the oil wash has dried, I go in with a just a, a tiny bit of sponge that I've tore off, and a um, I'm using a, a dark brown, I believe it's the uh, actually it's Pro Acryl's dark umber, and I go in and just kind of sponge in a little bit of weathering and battle damage like on the armor. I keep this to a minimum. I don't want it to be over the top. Uh, so I really focus just on the feet, you know, knees, and then like the, the hands and, um, forearms of the model. And now I take the bright ivory again, and I'm going in and doing some, uh, just line edge highlighting, uh, adding some highlights to the battle damage, and then also just slightly putting in some like nicks and scratches that haven't gone down to like that base metal color. At this point, I go in and I uh, I pick out some decals that I'm going to add to the armor. I didn't think about it before, but I should have applied these decals prior to um, doing my oil wash, just so they could have also been kind of uh, just dulled down uh, with that oil wash. But um, I use these uh, Forge World um, 30K, I guess, Horse Heresy. Uh, Dark Angels decals, and I pick out a few that I'm going to apply to this model here. Um, I kind of keep it to a minimum. I don't want to do it like overdo it because there is a lot of detail already on the model, but I just want to add more that will tie it into that Dark Angels chapter.
any details that I need painted black, I use Pro Acryl's Coal Black, and then I highlight it with Vallejo Game Color uh, Somber Gray. And now all the bits that are going to be either silver or steel colored, I use Pro Acryl's Dark Silver. I then wash it all with some Nolan Oil and highlight it with some Bright Silver. For the emblem on his chest, I uh, want to go with a cool shadows and then up to a warm highlight with it. So I start off by just uh, giving it a layer of dark jade. That's then followed with a, another layer of dark jade and bright yellow green at a, about a 50-50 mix. Um, this is just a little bit farther uh, towards the, the line, not quite a line highlight on there. And as a final highlight on this, I use just straight bright yellow green. For all of the red bits, I go in and base them all with Pro Acryl's Dark Flesh. All the red then gets a wash of Shaiish Purple Contrast Paint, which has been thinned down just a little bit. Now I go in with Pro Acryl Transparent Red and I slowly build up that uh, more vibrant red color over the, the raised bits here. Uh, keep that out of the recesses because you don't want to blot out any of the shadows that you've created with your wash. And a quick note with that transparent paint, I use that like a glaze and I pull that from dark to light. So the shadow areas up to the highlight areas. And I just repeat that over and over until I build up that layer enough to where that transparent paint's very vibrant. And to finish off the red, I do an extreme just edge highlight with a Wazdaka red. All of the leather belts and pouches, whatnot, uh, they all get a uh, couple layers of Pro Acryl's Mahogany. Uh, this is a nice rich brown, and I think it, it works great for uh, any type of leather implements. And here I mix in a little bit of Rackarth flesh with the uh, Mahogany, and just make a nice kind of weathered highlight for uh, the leather bits. I use Pro Acryl's Dark Flesh as a base coat for the skin tone. And from there, I just start mixing in uh, more and more of uh, Pro Acryl's Tan Flesh. And I start with a 50-50 mix and, you know, add that layer. Then I'll do a little bit more and add that layer and just build that up until I'm comfortable with um, how the skin looks.
And then I finish it off with uh, adding olive flesh from Pro Acryl to the mixture and just giving it that um, uh, lighter highlight on there. Now for the cape, I wanted to add a lot of texture uh, or implied texture to it. Uh, so I started off with a base coat of coal black from Procryl, and then I did a 50-50 mix of dark jade and coal black. And then I just used um, just a, uh, an old dry brush and just stippled this on uh, over the majority of the cape, leaving some of the areas dark in the recesses. And for the next step, I go to straight dark jade. And again, I just stipple this over the uh, majority of the cloak, working my way a little bit higher, or trying to focus a little bit higher on the edges and I don't bring that color as far down into the folds as I did that uh, black and jade uh, uh, combination just, you know, just prior. Um, work this on until you're happy, and then we'll move on to the next color. Next, we start working in straight jade. And again, we're going to do this higher up on the uh, folds. Uh, we don't want to bring this color down into those shadows. Now we do a 50-50 mix of Jade and Bright Jade. Again, we're just working this highlight up, making it uh, brighter and brighter the higher up on this cloak it goes. Now here I start adding finer details with a smaller brush, and this is straight bright jade. And I, I go easy, I thin this out, I don't want this to be over the top, uh, and I want it to be fairly translucent so that those layers will sit there and overlap on each other and build up, but then have a nice texture. Now for the final highlight, I use bright jade and pale yellow. And again, I just start stippling it on very thinly and building up that highlight color, uh, trying to create a, uh, a texture as I go. Uh, I don't want this to be over the top, uh, but I do want it to look, uh, I mean, kind of similar to like a velvet cloak, you know, if you will. Uh, just how you have that extreme shine, but then it gets really dark really quick. Uh, and then I also go through and I do a, a few edge highlights uh, on those lower edges of the cloak here. Now for the interior of the cloak, it is a uh, burgundy color. And for this, I use the same method as the exterior. Uh, I start off with a base of black, and then I start uh, building up layers of uh, uh, burgundy and just build this up, keeping it you know down in the shadows. I want this to be the darkest color other than the black, obviously. Um, and then I'd bring it towards the, uh, the highlights. Now, once I'm done with the burgundy, burgundy, I switch to dark magenta, and I will start uh, just tapping that into the uh, highlighted areas and just brightening up those uh, colors just a bit. And I want these on like the folds that are going to see more light. Uh, so you'll see up on the, the right-hand side here. 
And then once I'm done with the dark magenta, I go to straight magenta for a final highlight. And this is the completed Belial conversion here. Um, there's a couple details that I left out. Uh, most of it, just not really that important. Like the scroll work, paint that how you're, you're going to paint your scrolls. Um, I used grays in this, which I usually don't. But just used a warm gray and then worked up to a um, like a beige from there. Um, also, the base can be seen. How I painted the base can be seen in my... Uh, Primaris Lieutenant conversion. Uh, and I lost the footage on how I painted the blade. I don't know how I did that. But I'll have to make another video just focused on that. Uh, but it was a lot of fun painting this black blade. I believe it's uh, the Heavenfall blade. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is it. I'm not going to run on and on. Uh, this was a lot of fun to paint. I'm glad I'm, I made it, converted it. Even though there's a new Belial model out, I really do enjoy this one. Um, yeah, I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. Thanks. If you stayed the whole time, thanks for watching my video. Um, and yeah, uh, give me a like down below, uh, comment, share, you know, everything helps the channel. All right, guys, I'll let you go. Uh, thanks again for joining me here on Level Up Hobbies, and I will see you next time.